<laughs> Sino ba yung kasama mo? Ayan, big time, magkasama ko. <laughs> And then, papakita, papakilala ko sa inyo si Dr. Raul Lapitan. He is the Vice President ng Philippine Heart Association. O, pasok po kayo, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Kumain ka na ba, Dok? Mamaya kain po tayo. <laughs> Sit down, Dok. Take a seat. Ayan, pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay ang tungkol sa mitral valve prolapse. No? This yeah. is a heart disease, no, Dok? Um, pwede naman natin, hindi naman siya kinukonsider as heart disease. Mm -mm. No? Uh, tulad na na-mention ko, it's a benign uh, heart condition involving mm -hmm. the valve, one of the valves. Okay. Kasi ang puso natin, it's a multi-chamber, although it's a single organ, mm -hmm. meron siyang, you can divide the heart into two, the left and the right. Okay. And each side, meron siyang small and big chambers. Okay. Now, each chamber actually is separated from the other chamber mm -hmm. by a valve. Valve is nothing but, um, ano lang yan, it's a door, parang open-close, depending okay. on the uh, direction of the blood. Okay. And also on the pressure on one chamber. Kung mataas ang pressure dun sa isang chamber, mag-open siya para to give way for the blood to flow okay. to the next chamber. Okay. So, each side, no, yung right and left, uh, has two valves. Okay. Uh, the one on the left, meron siyang tinatawag na aortic valve, mm -hmm. and the other one is mitral valve. Sa ang side yung mitral? Sa left side. Sa left side. Uh, Pakita natin, Doc. Actually, si Doc, meron siyang pre-repair na picture sa atin so that we can have an idea dun sa mga valve na minimension niya. Ito. Yan, yeah, oo. No. Now, dito yung sinasabi ko, no? It's a single organ, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a multi-chamber. Mm -mm. I'm not so sure kung nakikita nila, no? Uh -oh. uh, you have a bigger chamber on the lower and okay. a smaller chamber on the uh, upper. Okay. So, what happened, each chamber is separated by a valve mm -mm. and on the left side, you have the mitral valve. No? Ito yung sinasabi yes, natin. Yes, yan. Yan. So, now, Doc, when you have a mitral uh, valve prolapse, anong nangyayari dito sa certain valve na ito? Okay. Um, normally, ang trabaho ng valve is just open and close. Uh -oh. no? uh, because of pressure differences between the uh, chambers, mm -mm. pag nag-slide uh, backward, Okay. No, parang that's an extra movement. Okay. And uh, on physical examination, we hear a click. Ah. That's why yun yung very typical uh, examination findings. Na, Pag may naririnig. Ano, mitral valve. We call that a click, extra movement. Okay. So normally, you have a uh, normal sound is lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. Uh -oh. But there's an extra click na naririnig namin. So bukod dun sa, dun sa yes, tug, tug, sa tug, tug, tug. Yes. Ay click na naririnig ko. Correct. Oh, okay. okay. What But again, um, again, as I've said, that's a benign uh, condition. Uh -oh. What causes marami kasi, uh -oh. merong tinatawag namin uh, myxomatous generation, mga connective tissue disease. Mm -mm. No? Uh, amongst elderly, pwede magkaroon ng prolapse kung nagkaroon ng ischemia or abnormal flow. Mm -hmm. But generally, as I've said, since that is benign, we really don't know. Kasi nakikita natin sila among young yun nga, Dok, yung gusto kong tanong yan. Normally, sino ba ang madalas na nagiging uh, patient o nagkakaroon ng ganitong klase ng, ng uh, condition? condition? Now, you see, yung mitral valve prolapse kasi, uh, majority of patients na meron ito, walang nararamdaman. Say, they don't go to a doctor. They don't seek consultation. Wala siyang yung parang norm, uh, abnormal breathing or mabigat na sensation sa dibdib. Yan yung, ano, yan yung minority, as I've said. Maraming pasyente tayo na sometimes by echocardiogram uh -oh. na nadadiagnose natin as an incidental finding, yung mitral valve prolapse. But practically, they don't have symptoms at all. Now, yung minority na sinasabi natin na merong symptoms, it ranges from chest pain, ito yeah, yung na-mention mo. Sometimes it's associated with uh, uh, shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. no? uh, Palpitation. Palpitation yes. meaning without doing anything. Bakit mabilis ang heartbeat ko? Oo, mabilis ang tibok ko, no? ng puso. Kasi normally, kung di mo natatanong, ang heartbeat is about uh, ano nga ba 60 normal to 100. No? Every minute? Yes, that's yes. per minute. Ngayon, if you're doing like right now, we're sitting, ang heart rate mo, hindi naman dapat tataas uh, beyond 100. 100. But sometimes, even when you're watching TV, bigla ka may maramdaman na palpitation, bumilis yung heart rate, yung sabihin. Yes. But again, hindi lahat ng ganon, it's because of the mitral valve prolapse. Mm -hmm. no? You have to really uh, examine the patient, take a good history, mm -hmm. and uh, examine, uh, get a good physical examination uh, assessment, and then that's the time you can come up with a diagnosis of mitral valve prolapse. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the diagnostic modalities? No? Pag, paano ba natin madadiagnose ng mitral valve yes. prolapse? 
uh, of course, subset by a good physical examination findings. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I, your ECG will not give you findings of... Uh, walang findings, walang abnormal findings. Kanina, uh, Doc, you mentioned, isa dun sa parang... Uh, sign na nagpapakita sa inyo na meron siya nito is yung click, click na narinig. Bukod hear, doon. We hear that on uh, physical examination uh, findings. Bukod po doon, Doc, ano pa yung iba? Uh, wala na. Wala na? Oh, sometimes, mabalis na ang heart rate. Let's say, uh, 101, 102, really not that high. Mm -hmm. no? When you do ECG, sinatawag namin sinus tachycardia, meaning mabilis yung heartbeat than the usual. Mm -hmm. Other than that, uh, wala. And to validate, para ma-validate mo yung yung diagnosis ng mm -hmm. mitral valve prolapse, we do an echocardiographic study. Mm -hmm. Yung echocardiographic study is nothing but an ultrasound of the heart. You ah. can see the heart in real time, how it moves, So, doon mo makikita kung may irregularity? Yes. Kung ma doon mo makikita yung tinatawag na prolapse. Yung prolapse kasi it's a, it's a slip of the uh, sliding of the one of the valves. Uh -oh. You have two valves on the mitral. Uh -oh. Uh, aside from uh, closing, during closing motion, oh. may extra movement sila. Yes. Either the anterior or posterior valve. Siya yung nag, uh, bumabalik. Doc, ano yung mga complications nitong uh, prolapse na ito? Is this fatal? That, that's a good question. Uh -oh. um, uh, yung sagutin ko muna yung last question mo, is this fatal? Uh -oh. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Oh, at least that's one thing yes, we're sure uh, of. Kasi nga, sinasabi natin, pag nadadiagnose natin yung mitral valve prolapse, Hindi yan yung ano, uh, you're at risk for heart Anything. attack, oh, yes. then sudden death na yes. tinatawag. No? Now, going back to your first concern, ano ba yung mga complications, complications. to? Uh, through the years, no, um, well, we do echocardiogram. Hindi mo naman kailangan gawin every year. Yeah? Maybe every three, mm -hmm. every four years. And then, tinitingnan natin kung yung mitral valve prolapse ay merong backflow. Mm -hmm. We call that regurgitation. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, pag nag-slide yan pabalik, parang there's a chance na mataas ang pressure nun, a small amount of blood goes back to the previous chamber. Mm -mm. Let's say if you're talking about left upper chamber, left lower chamber, and this is separated by the mitral valve, mm -hmm. pag nag-close siya, dapat yung valve uh, will not, uh, will will prevent blood going back to the left upper chamber, but will go to the other uh, area. Mm -mm. No? So, kung merong blood na bumabalik siya, through time pwedeng it can develop uh, into uh, significant uh, regurgitation, uh -oh. let's say moderate to my, uh, severe regurgitation. Uh -oh. no? um, one condition that might arise from this is you develop irregular heartbeat. Yun. Uh, so, Doc, last question na lang, no? kasi you mentioned kanina na hindi, wala masyadong signs and symptoms ito correct. prolapse. So, uh, at ang madalas pagtamaan nito is the younger people. Uh, so, correct. Doc, siguro anong edad na lang yung uh, mas re recommend or masasuggest mo para magsimulang magpa-regular check-up? Oh, actually, uh, we do encourage once you reach the age of 20, no? Ah, as early as that? Oh, especially after your uh, school years, no? Oh. At yung time na papasok ka na to Mag Magtatrabaho ka na, oo. Because of the stresses yes. involved, no? Now, um, pag na-diagnose natin ito, maybe you might ask, ano bang gagawin natin sa kanila, no? Mm -mm. As I've said, this is a benign condition. Kung wala mm -hmm. naman nararamdaman sila, you don't have to treat this patient. Mm -hmm. And we, in fact, encourage them to increase mm -hmm. uh, exercise. Yes. That's to improve their functional capacity and to increase the threshold for such condition like chest pain. Because we often see this... Uh, symptoms yung mga pasyente na medyo busy eh, no? busy Oo, some doing time. something else walang time to lalo exercise lalo na wala namang nararamdaman hindi talaga masyadong priority ang pagpapacheck correct up. correct doc i heard you uh, you have an upcoming event yeah we call yes, this a world uh, this is a world heart day uh, mm -hmm. celebration this is a worldwide celebration and we celebrate this during the uh, september 29 mm -hmm. but here Dapat in the na. philippines we mm -hmm. celebrate this nationwide during the last Sunday of the month, which is September 27th for mm -hmm. this year. This coming Sunday na. Yes, all mm -hmm. about uh, healthy heart habits. No? Mm -hmm. uh, ang Philippine Heart Association is has an advocacy. Uh, there's a code there, we call that 52100. Mm -hmm. So you might be interested to find out ano ba yung 52100. Yes. Five stands for yung, ano, yung uh, five servings of fruits and vegetables. Mm. Nakita ko kumakain sila. So, Marami. Uh, <laughs> uh, kailangan mo ng, uh, that's per day. Oh. Five servings of uh, fruits and, and vegetables. That's uh, minimum. Mm. And then the two is uh, less than two hours of screening, especially sa mga bata. No? And they're using gadgets. No? Uh -huh. Because you take um, hours of doing exercise. No? Yes. Imbis na mag-exercise sila, they continuously uh, uh, sit 
and doing nothing except to Play. make their hands oh. out. With that, kasi, uh, yung activity, yung metabolism nila becomes Bumababa. low and sometimes they develop overweight problems yes. and eventually obesity. In 100, Doc? The yun? one is um, one hour of exercise, 60 minutes of exercise. exercise. Now, you might ask, paano naman yung mga medyo overweight obesity? Oh, oh. Now, the least we can ano, um, uh, recommend is to do walking. Walking is a very good form, form of, of exercise. exercise. Yes, brisk, we call it this a moderate intensity, which is brisk walking. Okay. okay? Uh, that's per day as well. Yes. If you cannot do that one hour in one sitting, you might have to divide it, no? Kung yes. medyo busy. There are other practices that we can do, no? Uh, para, although hindi tayo aware of that, you can park your car somewhere else and then you walk going to your office. Or kahit siguro yung simple na stairs lang, Correct. instead of taking uh, elevators or escalators, two, you can take the two stairs. two floors lang naman, di ba? Kaya uh, kaya naman. That. Ayan. Yeah, there are hospitals na nakalagay dyan. If you, that's actually in front of the elevator. If you're about to go to the second or third floor Use and you don't have a uh, condition, uh -oh. you might as well take these stairs. Uh -huh. Zero is zero smoking. So uh -huh. we, we are, Philippine Heart Association is a very strong advocate of smoking. Yes. Also, not to involve yung mga iba, yung nagiging passive smoker, second-hand smoker. Yes. No? So, and lastly, yung zero, yung sugary drinks. Yung kasi, oh. ang mga bata, napakahilig sa matatamis, not knowing mm -hmm. na especially... Kahit matatanda, Dok, mahilig. <laughs> yes, especially kung meron silang family history of diabetes, baka mag-manifest yung diabetic genes nila at a very early stage, di ba? Yeah. So, that 50 to 100 practically covers all what we call that's a primordial prevention. Yes. Primordial meaning, wala ka pang sakit. Mm -hmm. Wala ka pang hypertension, di ka pa overweight, obese and diabetes so so in fact uh, we have a program targeting on school children yes. say we believe that uh, the best preventive measures we can start this uh, practice by introducing this concept to of our... Of course. Uh, Sabi nga nila, lagging prevention is better than cure. And yes. with that, thank you so much, <coughs> Dr. So Raul much, Lapitan. Marami po kami natutunan sa inyo. And hopefully, makita-kita tayo <coughs> sa event nyo this coming Sunday. Yeah, thank pleasure. you so much. Thank you. Marami salamat po.